Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. And if you're new here, just want to let you know I upload two versions of all my videos. One with gameplay audio and one without. So if you'd prefer to watch the other version, it is linked at the top of the video description below. But with that out of the way, I thank you for clicking on this video. And today we're continuing our adventure in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm not sh exactly sure what my goal is for this video. I think maybe we'll go check out this um, regional phenomena, since we're making our way that way anyway. So I will get my horse, Django, who is actually from Breath of the Wild. Uh, in case you didn't know, luckily I just like stumbled upon a YouTube short that covered this, but um, if you have save data from Breath of the Wild on your Switch, um, your horses, why is, why is he doing that? Um, your horses will transfer over from the last game. Okay. And uh, I mentioned this in my ramble videos, but I'm playing with a, uh, come on, why are you being like this Django? Um, I'm playing with a GameCube controller and I tend to get the jump and attack buttons mixed up, but this is my second time playing with the Switch controller, so hopefully uh, it won't be as bad this time, but in those other videos, I made a lot of uh, mistakes. Okay, do I have anything to smash this with? So in the last video, I just got the quest. I think it's called Ripened Flint, but why are they called Gorons or whatever? Whatever the the habitats of this region are called. One of them wants a ripened flint, which apparently is impossible to distinguish from any other type of flint. But if I happen to bring him one, um. He will pay me a thousand rupees. So, basically give him a stack of 20 flint. And then, um, I guess he'll eat them all. And if one happens to be a ripened flint, I'll get a thousand rupees. So, I need to start being more diligent about collecting flint, I guess. Okay, let's see what's up here. I'm seeing some torches. So I assume this area is going to be occupied by some faction. I think it's the Yuga clan is how they're called. The, the people that are like obsessed with bananas. I think they're in this area. So if I was a betting man, I would say it might be them. See if I can catch this lizard. And do I have a picture of this butterfly? A, a smother wing butterfly. Okay, let's see if I can capture it. Nice. This rare butterfly lives in volcanic regions. Its body contains a heat-resistant liquid, which can be turned into a topical elixir that offers resistance to flames. The 
that might be useful. Looks like we have one of those, whatever they're called. I can't even think of the name of them, but they're kind of annoying to fight. And it already notices me. Oh, I was like, why isn't it showing up? A rock-like. See, I, I just want to capture lizards. Okay, luckily it's rocks, can't shoot that far. So I can continue with my lizard catching in relative safety. What are these birds? A golden sparrow. God, those things fly away quick. Well, I'm just gonna collect lizards and flint while that thing shoots rocks, and then I'll deal with it. spear. So those things carry spears apparently. Oh, a topaz, that's new. Also, if you notice, since I'm wearing this, what are they even called?
That was close. Fire does not seem to do any additional damage. Oh shit. Did I just like spawn that thing? Or is that just a random coincidence? explosive boxes. Let's see. Oh, motherfucker. Did he hear that? Why would he just be sitting there with those explosives? Not very smart. Wait. 
consumes less stamina during charged attacks. Hmm. Maybe I will drop something. I feel bad dropping that, but those things kinda suck. Not a big fan. Come on, be arrows. Nice. Exactly what I wanted. Shit, it's a one-time use. 
dang it. What happens if I attach a hydrant to it? Interesting. Looks kind of stupid, but... Should I keep the hydrant? I guess I'll... No, I'm gonna drop the hydrant shield. I want to make a skateboard shield. I made one, but uh, it was on a crappy shield, so it broke really fast. Oh, that might have been a waste of a rocket, but at least I know that works. Okay. Oh, I... Let's go fuck with these guys, why not? That one looked different than the other ones I'd seen. Let's go talk to some of these guys, see if they have any quests or anything. Okay, I could buy some flint. That store's owned by a guy named Blan Platon. He's out right now. If you want to buy something, you'll have to wait till he gets back. Now that I think about it, he left for Goron City to buy marbled rock roast. It hasn't come back for some days now. Just what is he up to, anyhow? I wonder if he has one of the people at the restaurant. What are these guys up to? If the president hadn't gotten involved with marble rock roast, none of this would have happened. At this rate, the southern mine... No, Yono... Yonoboko is finished. Don't just sit around eating marbled rock roast, get to work. Just sampling the goods. Weren't you so excited that Yonoboko was gonna be building minecart land here? Minecart land. Sorry about that, traveler. Minecart land is an amusement park that we started building at the request of President Unibo, head of Uniboco. He wanted to create an attraction to draw travelers in something fun. But lately the young Gorons won't do a lick of work, and the projects come to a screeching halt. Uniboco. Uniboco handles everything from mine and ore to selling it. We rely on them to keep our economy going. They had big plans for minecart land, but it looks like the grand opening is a ways off yet. Oh, and if it's ore you're after, try going to the company store up ahead, or you can get some in the city. They're 
prices are half what's normal, so you get a good deal. Who cares about minecart land when there's a marble to rock roast to chomp? To chomp. You're chomping instead of working at this rate, this other mine. Now, Uniboco, as all is done for. Jeez, everyone's getting addicted to this marbled rock roast. Okay, nice. Now I can make... I can make a skateboard. With this lady. Looks pretty fashionable. Is that mushrooms? Oh, it's a dude. My bad. Sorry to assume your gender. Hey there. Glad to see someone out here. It's hard to brave in the dark on my own. Been a while since I saw another alien around here. It's Goron's as far as the eye can see. I'm en route to Goron City. I hear that's the place to go if you want fire-resistant clothes. Hopefully they're not too pricey. So I'm on my way to Goron City, it looks like. A death Mountain Marker 4, this is the way to Goron City. Nice, get to go through Death Mountain. Probably would have been a lot faster if I would have attached a uh, fan to the minecart. is too far away. Oh, oh shit. Let me get a picture of you, wolf. episode up soon. We'll see if there's anything up here. That seems like a good stopping point. Maybe that... Maybe we can make it to that um, shrine up there. We'll see how long that takes. We gotta let you in on something. There are some untrustworthy fellas rolling around the city right now. So if you're loaded up on ore, you should probably sell it before you're scammed out of it. We're good Gorons. We'll take it off your hands for a great price. How about three rupees for your ore? Whatever ore you got, come show us the goods. No thanks. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, Gila, let's get out of here. They tried to scam me. Can't trust Gorons these days. You almost could dupe there, huh? Now that Death Mountain's eruptions have stopped and the lava's cooled, I've been seeing more alien travelers. Which is great, except those two have been swindling travelers by offering to take their ore for next to nothing. After that marble rock rose started surfacing, everyone around here has been acting strange. So be mindful of any Gorons who've been... Uh, any Gorons who have got marbled rock rose? Who are you? My name's Ramella. I'm a jeweler from Garuda Town in the southwest of Hyrule. The ore that Unipoco deals in is high quality, so I always come here to replenish my stock. If you're open to it, I'll gladly buy your ore off you for my shop. Wow, rude. I'd never rip you off. Well, I guess you did almost get ripped off, so your response is warranted. 
I'm not going to force you. If you decide you'd like to sell it, then let me know. Right now, I'm low on amber. If you sell me a parcel of 10 pieces of amber, I'll buy them for a little more than you could sell them at other shops. All right, then. I'm off to Goron City to get more gems. Take care. I think I have a lot of amber. I'll buy 10 pieces of amber for 200 rupees. I'll sell. Sarsko is another expression where I'm from. It means thank you. Kids these days shorten it to Sark. That's very helpful. I'll buy ore from you anytime. Though keep in mind that I'm often looking for different ore at different times. So check in with me every so often to see what I'm looking for. Can't believe she's walking around on stiletto heels like that. Since you're speaking, I assume you have more ore to sell. Got any topazes? I'll buy ten for a thousand rupees. Okay. Which way was I going? I'm all turned around. Okay, I think up this way. Now I need to get some topazes. A thousand rupees would be a good, a good little boost to my personal finances. Okay, that doesn't look like... Let's get up to that shrine.